Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood arithmetic operators in Unreal Blueprints. In this video, I would like to discuss increment operator and decrement operator in Unreal Blueprints. Plus plus indicates increment operator, minus minus indicates decrement operator. Increment operator is used to increment a variable value by 1. Whereas decrement operator is used to decrement a variable value by 1 guys. Increment operator increments the variable value by 1. Decrement operator decrements a variable value by 1. Let's have a demo and understand guys. Here I am going to create one variable called as num of type integer. Compile. I can set the default value here. I set the default value 10. I want to display the current value of num. Here, I am going to take help of the sequence node. So, there is a node called sequence. Sequence node, what it does? It executes the pins from top to down in a sequence. First, it executes 0, then 1, then 2. These output execution pins are executed one after the another from top to down in a sequence. Guys. Okay. Here, I am going to bring the num, get the num. Okay. And then I right click and search for print string node i connect the execution pins and then i connect the data pins what happens of course on event begin play sequence node what it does it executes the pin 0 and print string node displays the current value of num which is 10 compile save come to level 1 and play you see we got 10 guys that is the current value of num now i want to increment this num by 1 i want to increment the value of num by 1. For that what I do? I get the num. I get the num. And I drag a wire from it. And search for plus plus. See we got increment int node. I select it. So what is this plus plus node indicates? It indicates increment operator. It increments the variable value by 1. Okay. So here what we are getting? We are getting 10. Right. That is the current value of num. So what happens here? num value becomes 11 guys i connect this pin here then one pin and then i display the current value of num so definitely num value is incremented by one i drag this num right click and search for print string print string connect the execution pins after incrementing the value of num i am displaying the current value of num so definitely here print string displays 11 guys okay it displays 11 because the value of num will be incremented by 1. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You see that we got 11 guys. So definitely the increment operator is incrementing the variable value by 1. I want to increment again. So I, I want to copy this set. Control C and Control V. Okay. I put it over here. I am going to add one more pin. And two pin I connect here. Okay. After executing this print string node. What is the value of num guys? 11. So when this plus plus node is executed, okay, it is going to become 12. Num value becomes 12 and we are displaying that. So definitely here we will get 12 displayed guys. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. See, it is 12 guys. Whenever you want to increment a variable value by 1, you will be using the increment operator or increment node guys. There are two increment nodes we have. When you say here increment, we have increment int and increment float. Increment float adds 1.0 to the specified value. Increment int adds 1 to the specified value. That's it. Depending upon the variable type, you have to choose the node guys. Understanding? So that is about the increment operator. It increments the variable value by 1. So 10, 11, 12, we can see that. Okay. Now we understand the decrement operator. Let me disconnect this. And I bring this event begin play down. Okay. So this is not going to get execute guys. This part is not going to get execute. Now what is the current value of num? It is 10. Right. Now again I am going to use the sequence node. I use sequence node here. Connect the execution pins. Good. I want to display the current value of num which is 10 you can see. So get the num. Right click and say here print string. Connect the execution pins and connect the data pins definitely you will see 10 displayed on event begin play it displays the current value of num 
compile save come here and play you see we got 10 now i want to decrement the num by 1 i want to decrement the num by 1 for that what i do i get the num i get the num instead of searching for increment i search for decrement int so you see we got decrement as i told minus minus indicates decrement operator understanding what it does it decrements the variable value by 1 i connect the execution pin here we are getting 10 that is the value of num after this node execution num value becomes 9 guys it decrements the num by 1 let me prove that i say here print string print string get the num connect execution pins connect data pins now definitely here it displays 9 okay 10 9 compile save come to level 1 and play you see it is 9 guys now we are decrementing the variable value by 1 I want to decrement the num value again by 1. So what I have to do? I am going to copy this set, control C and paste. Let me put it over here. I am going to add one more pin, connect the execution pins. So here we are getting 9. Definitely the num value is decremented by 1. It becomes 8. We are displaying the current value of num. So we will get here 8 displayed guys. Okay. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You see we got 8. So whenever you want to decrement a variable value by 1, you use the decrement node or decrement operator guys. If I right click here and search for decrement, D-E-C-R-E-M-E-N-T, you have two nodes, decrement int and decrement float guys. Depending upon the variable type, for example, if your variable is an integer, you use decrement int. If the variable is a float, then you will use decrement float guys. Understanding? So that is all about increment and decrement operators guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about operators. I suggest you people to try this yourself. Okay, try it yourself. Experiment. You get more clear idea. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning. Keep designing. Keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.